over here I've got a line tracker board it has a photo eye input to terminal 14 right here and when that voltage is either positive or negative it turns on one or the other relays and this board's not working you can see I'm going to change this potentiometer right here to plus and minus on the input there and it's not changing so let me unplug this and I'm going to change this IC right here that is a TCA 965B now that's a very very complicated IC we're unplugged from the wall we're not going to get shocked here let me go in here and let this out come on come on there we go and I'm going to put a new one in there and we'll see what happens let's try it now get plugged back into the wall Look at that! <laughs> All right, let's go back the other way. There we go. Wow, oh, nice. I'm turning the pot so that we have a positive or negative voltage on terminal 14 there. Nice. <laughs> we fixed another one now terminal 10 is a positive 12 volts DC terminal 16 is a negative 12 volts DC and I have the wings of the potentiometer connected to those two terminals and I'm varying the voltage a plus and minus on terminal 14 Alright, that is so cool. <laughs> I want to take that home. <laughs> I'd find some use for it there. <laughs> now, over here on terminals 1, 4, and 7, I have L1 of 115 volts AC. On terminal 2 is L2 of that 115 volts volts AC L2 goes to both light bulbs and the other side of the light bulbs is connected to the relays on 6 and 9 so when one of the relays is energized for instance this one right here that's turning on that light bulb the L1 flows through the relay and back to the light bulb and then through the light bulb back to L2. Even or no? Birds are in the backyard feeding their bellies. <laughs> it's snowing back there. And uh, oh, y'all are see all the birds back here gathering around those bird feeders back there. Shooey! They're, <laughs> they're, they're going to fill up their bellies before they got to go to bed. Now, here is the photo I input, and I used a 5 kilo ohm potentiometer to simulate that photo I input and here we are we have on terminal 10 plus 12 volts DC on terminal 16 we have negative 12 volts DC and the photo I input to that line tracker board on pin 14 and I could swing this voltage right here on pin 14 between plus 12 and minus 12. Down here on terminals 1 and 2, we have 
L1 and L2, 120 volts AC, single phase coming in to L1 and L2 on terminals 1 and 2. Now, the actuators that swing left or right based upon that photo I input up here on 14. The actuators are turned on by relays. Here on terminal 4, we have a common to the relay. In terminal 6, we have a normally open contact. That's connected up to L1. And down here, we have another relay. On terminal 7 common that's tied up to L1 when I swing this potentiometer up toward plus 12 volts DC this relay RL401 will close and connect L1 at terminal 4 to the normally open contact on terminal 6. And so we have AC voltage flows through the relay and back out the normally open contact, which is now closed, terminal 6 through the light bulb right here back up to L2. Let's say we went back the other way and the photo I input is now more negative because we've changed the potentiometer. This is simulating the photo I input and we've gone more negative on terminal 14 now what happens is that RL402 closes this relay right here and AC voltage flows through that closed contact from L1 back out terminal 9 we come in terminal 7 through the closed relay back out terminal 9 and we flow through this light bulb right here back up to L2 <laughs> is that cool now what does the line tracker do when you're rolling up a spool of material oh, it could be plastic any kind of material. What happens is, is that if you can't track that material, and I'm using my hand to simulate that material moving back and forth, but let's say for instance that that material is rolling up and it's rolling this way and this way and this way continuously. You wouldn't have a squared up edge the left and right edges would be conical here we are this photo eye is looking at the material between the transmitter and receiver and it wants to keep that material centered so that it's always flowing to keep the left and right edges squared up when it's rolling up that material and if we drift off to this side if the actuators the relays turn on the actuators to bring it back this side and if we get too much on this side the relays turn on the actuators to get it to going back this way and we're always always trying to keep centered 
Isn't that amazing? <laughs> the folks that thought of this was pretty smart. Now, instead of a photo wire, I'm using a 5 kilo ohm resistor. And instead of actuators, the left and right actuators that, that center the material in the photo wire, I'm using light bulbs. 110 volt AC, 100 watt light bulbs. You don't need the machine wrapped around this to uh, to allow you to test. Ain't that amazing? All right, oh. Now, this is the test setup. I'm going to put my schematic drawings up of uh, of this circuit so that y'all can analyze how it works. We're seeing a little bit. Thank you.